guys, we are up here in West Central Florida, leaving the house. I got Autumn with me, and we are in Florida, even though she's bundled up like a Eskimo. Beautiful day. But uh, we are heading to go look at another houseboat. I know you guys follow us on the Mystic. We have that one down there in the Keys, and I'll get into our plans with this other houseboat if we get it. But it's pretty exciting. Should be a pretty good project. The boat seems like it's in good shape. We're going to do some remodeling to it. And uh, it's going to be a pretty big adventure even getting here because we're going to Jacksonville. So if we get this boat, we're going to have to take it down the other coast, the east coast of Florida, through the Okeechobee Waterway, and then back up the state to where we are here uh, in Hernando Beach, which is like Crystal River area. So you guys might recognize that name better. But uh, stay tuned. It should be a pretty cool adventure. This is the first step of it, and I'm pretty excited. All right, guys. We finally made it here. Um, and here she is, right behind us. You can see it. We are gonna go uh, take a look for this thing. I just, uh, I just called the owner, and he's uh, he's on his way here. But a little dirty. She needs a little TLC. Um, but we'll see. Like we're gonna run it, go through it, check all the systems, check the hull, see what we can see what we can see, and uh, I think I think the name of this boat is, is WTF, which that is uh, it's right up my alley. So let's wait for him to get here, and we'll go in. We'll check this thing out. No, no. I get it. It's what my friends are saying. You don't need two houseboats, but you do. We got one for the keys and one for here to travel with, maybe even loop with. Trust me, this will work. So this is Mark, the seller, and I want to say thank you to him because he was so informative um, and so thorough with going over this vessel with me. This is a 2001 47 foot Gibson houseboat. We're going to be doing a little walkthrough. I'm just kind of going from top to bottom on this boat, and that's kind of how we went through it. We went through the whole outside, looked at everything, then worked our way through the inside. Um, as you can see here, it has a nice solar system. It runs some stuff inside, like the fridge and stuff like that. And then we just kind of went through the rest of the outside. The anchor well, he went over the windlass with me, which worked fine. Um, and then we just did a, a quick preview through the whole inside of the boat. This is a galley full, double sink, nice big fridge. The, uh, the stove works. The fridge actually works off of solar, so you don't need the generator to run it. <clears throat> and then back into the little pantry door, sorry, in the end of the kitchen here, before you enter into the, the, the master room. Um, it's a good size. I believe it's a full-size bed, plenty of storage, uh, a lot of storage underneath the bed also, which was nice. You could put bins or whatever. And <clears throat> the head in this boat was really nice, um, roomy, if you will, uh, especially for me because I'm a, I'm a big guy. But full-size toilet, uh, nice sink little vanity there and, and, and it'll pan to the right here and you'll see the shower I, I stood in there and I had uh, a couple inches on each side of my shoulders um, and a little little tub so pretty useful and then under or by the galley and under the living area that deck there these are where the air conditioners are plus it'd be a great place for some storage now up here at the helm this is where the stairs go down to the bottom uh, sleeping area and there's a head here also. I'm sorry, this is a little dark, but it's two, uh, I believe it's two twin beds. Um, and that door there goes all the way through where you saw those air conditioners. And then there's a head up in the front of the vessel also. It's a little smaller, little combo thing. Um, and this is Mark going over all the systems with me. The, you know, the, 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 the fuse panel, breaker box. Um, then we went in and we checked all the fluids and the motors and everything and then we ran them and <clears throat> Sitting there idling just wanted to watch them run. We ran this boat for a long time I, I had this boat running for probably a good three and a half hours idling while we were going over it and then um, We checked the fuel 
This is just us just physically checking the fuel, the level in the tanks, the smelling the fuel and looking at it, and it was all fantastic. All the other fluids and everything looked good on the boat, and it had been idling for a little while, so we pushed away and took the vessel for a sea trial. This is Mark uh, just going over with the boat with me and going over the different systems, the autopilot, the uh, solar system, the electronics, just to make sure I understood it. And often we would go back to check the motors to see if there was any problems, if there was any uh, water leaks or oil leaks or anything that shouldn't be happening. And um, this, this vessel, if we did get this boat, the trip that we would take to bring it home is about 600 miles around the state of Florida through the Okeechobee waterway and that's a significant trip for us and it's a little intimidating so I want to make sure if we do get this boat it's in the best shape that I think it could be because the motors are older there is the chance for problems but we're going to address everything we can address uh, we did notice that one of the motors the raw water pump did have a little drip in it and that's something that's going to have to be replaced and addressed because not something that you can uh have if you're going to be making a long trip but all in all we were very uh impressed with the overall condition and performance of the boat we were very happy with it taking this little sea trial um really gave us a sense of why we do like doing this as you can see with these uh, uh videos and the, the, the scenery and stuff and i'm looking forward to possibly taking this boat and with that trip with my wife and bringing it back home um, once we got back to the dock though, all the fluids were rechecked, everything looked good, um, all the systems checked again, and we were uh, pretty stoked. Alright, so we just spent about 3-4 hours going over this boat, Autumn and I did, went through all the systems, some stuff, most stuff worked, some stuff didn't, some stuff needs to be addressed. Um, needs a little love and TLC, but for the most part we liked it. Do you like it? I loved it. Loved um, it. Me too. Me too. So we bought it. <laughs> so now it's going to be planning to get it home. So hope you guys watched, liked us going through it and showing what we went through. Now I'm going to get home and start planning the logistics. I'll show you a little bit in this video about what we're looking at. Um, but yeah, that's it. Now it's starting to plan the trip. And this is kind of, for me, part of the fun. So stay tuned for the next leg of this uh, houseboat. And... So the name of the boat, I think, is WTF, which is what the. F <laughs> that's that. I don't. I don't think we even need to change the name. So, I love it. I think it fits it. I think it just proves that it's just a, it's a new way of living. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yep. So that's probably going to be the first words out of my mouth when something breaks on it. So it is. <laughs> so, but hey, we're excited. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and we'll see you on the next one. My family and I are really excited about the opportunity that this boat's going to give us. The, the freedom and experiences that we are going to encounter are just going to be unlimited. You can see it in these clips as I, as I talk. We are so blessed to have the opportunity to do this. And I'm blessed to have a family that wants to do this. And I'm looking forward to ex enjoying these experiences. I am a little nervous, um, and I think that's part of the part of the fun um, to push your limits and chase your dreams. So enjoy, guys, and remember, salty bushwhacker—it's a way of living.